Methodist Television Holiness to the World That's supposed to take over for me, supposed to be here. I don't like what you are doing. I don't like wasting time. Ah! That was how I had the dream. And surprisingly, when I woke up, the same clothes I was wearing in my dream was the same clothes on me when I woke up. So, sir, I don't understand. Okay. Let us pray. Our Father God, we will light into the darkness of this of, of this world in Jesus' name. Amen. And let him be glorified. Amen. For in Jesus' name have we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, Brother David, is this your first time of having this type of dream? Yes, sir. This is the fifth time, sir. Fifth time? When you see a blacksmith beating and hanging on a particular spot, there is something that he wants to bring out of it. I don't understand, sir. As we are praying, the Lord opened my eyes to the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 16. I wanted to read it. A gift opens the way and usher the giver into the presence of the great. Yes, I wanted to read it again. A gift opens the way and ushers the giver into the presence of the great. The gift you are talking about in this context it is the broom that you are using to sweep the compound. Believe that you 
saw in that your dream, you ought to have given her that boon, but you did not. If you had given her that boon, your boss will have given you the boon that will accept to sweep that environment effectively. You see? In the, in the scriptures, assuming he has kept that dream, he, that dream that he had to be solved, he will not have been able to stand before kings. But because he had done that, that was the reason why he was able to stand before kings. Brother, the gift that the Lord has given you is not meant for you. I believe you are the visitor of this church. How many people have you been talking with this gift that God has given you? No, can you see? That is what the Lord is expecting from you. And sometimes, it's not only about we giving gifts on Twitter. The dream is not also about giving gifts. Most times, the first level we are in our life, if we, are, if we are unable to give all that we have unto God, the Lord will, be, the Lord will, not, the Lord will not bless us in the second level that we find ourselves. What did that mean in this content? Most times, we might have gone for a concert. We might have gone for, gone for administrations, thinking that yes, we have the best. In which, in the second level of our life, we need to go back to God to ask for God to give us more of His gift, more of His blessings. But most times we don't do that because we feel we felt that we are okay with what God has given unto us. Why buy what we have is just for that purpose. And at the end of the day, we lost. So my brother. This dream that the Lord has showed you is actually telling you that you are meant to fulfill God's mandate on earth. John 3 16 says, For God so loved the world that he has given his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I want you to understand the word given. Which means that every one of us on this earth, we are all bent with that purpose to give. For God give Christ unto us, we too must give unto others what God has given unto us. This is the word the Lord has for you. I want you to hold it with your right hand. I want you to let this word be in your heart always. So that you will be able to discharge the duties that the Lord has given you. That's the work that the Lord has for you. There are a lot of false information about the coronavirus. These are the facts. People of all ages can be affected by the coronavirus. However, older people and people with pre-existing medical conditions such as asthma, diabetes, heart diseases are more vulnerable to the disease. It is not for old people alone. Gargling salt and warm water or chewing garlic and ginger cannot prevent the virus. Drinking alcohol, hot lemon, palm oil or chloroquine will not kill the virus. The virus cannot be transmitted through mosquito bites. Antibiotics do not work against the viruses. Antibiotics work only against bacteria. Boiling pineapple peels, lime and ginger does not kill the virus. Putting raw onions in rooms will not ward off the virus. Using or spraying the tall special oils and water all over your body cannot kill the virus. There is no scientific evidence that cooking, drinking or eating any of these is an effective treatment for coronavirus. Do not self-medicate and 
take responsibility by sharing only verified messages from health authorities such as NTDC, Federal Ministry of Health and WHO. Methodist Television Holiness to the World